Rails to Trails is open to everyone. It is a place where people seem to be finding peace in such a crazy time. You can walk, ride, run, and explore the history right in your hometown by these trails. The 20 mile trail is called Hop River Linear Trail State Park. It starts in Manchester and goes through Vernon, Bolton, Coventry, Andover, Columbia, and Willimantic. And it tells you a story how these trails came to be. Brittany Horton is part of the Rails to Trails Conservancy and is Vice President of the Communications Department. In 1986, when Rails to Trails Conservancy began, there were only a few hundred miles of rail trail all across the country, and most of those had been really created um, through the hard work of volunteers and local citizen activists who had seen those corridors in their neighborhoods and in their communities that were abandoned and they wanted to turn those into something um, that would bring value to the community. Not only are these trails good for exercise, they also provide off-the-road transportation and this is just one of many uses. It's a place that you can recreate or be active or you live in a more urban area and it is the access to the outdoors that you have um, in your community. People really, when they connect with a trail, they, they take in the value that it brings. Um, and there's so much value. There's the transportation aspect. Um, people, a lot of people walk and bike to work in our country, um, and this gives them a safe way to do so, where they're separated from vehicle traffic. There's an enormous financial benefit. Um, a lot of trails deliver, the planning, design, and construction of trails deliver jobs, and then also um, a lot of trail-oriented development happen. Although rails to trails impact the economy well, between travel and trade, there was also hardships that came along with this success. About 150 years ago, in the mid-1800s, it really was a game changer for how people got around the country. But it didn't come without a lot of costs um, in terms of labor rights. Um, there were a lot of people who uh, worked on the railroad and were not treated well. A lot of land um, that was taken and acquired to build the railroad um, in a way that was not respectful to the people who lived there or the cultures that it intersected. Um, and then as the railroads were built, you know, they really designed the planning of cities um, and towns around the railroad was often in a way that was very discriminatory, um, keeping certain populations of people on one side and certain populations of people on the other side of the railroad and really using those corridors as ways to separate different, different folks in the community. Um, so as the railroad, you know, as we've been able to capture the opportunity to create trails um, via these corridors, being able to pay respect to that that heritage, both the good parts around how it has built kind of the fabric and the legacy for America, but then also the challenging parts where, you know, racism and discrimination were inherent in, in how the railroad was built. And it's important that we honor that history and hold up that history so that it's not repeated. We know this time can be difficult, but please do your part and stay safe. From Rails to Trails and Manchester, this has been Daisy Gonzalez reporting.